I'm not paying attention to the patterns that I'm putting down. I'm just grabbing different washi tape randomly. Because if I do enough of these, it always works. It really doesn't matter what it looked like beforehand. I never would have put, oh, now it's, there we go. I never would have put the elephants next to that if I was planning or thinking. But when I'm all done, the pages actually do look really cool together because I've just used a lot of the same thing over and over again. Oh, can't find the end on that one. And if you ever have trouble finding the end on your washi tape, if you drag your fingernail along it, you'll feel the bump of it. And I'll show you on the next one again how I do that. So I've got this one. What I'm doing is just take my fingernail and I'm pushing it in as I go along and I can see or feel where the edge of the tape is so I know where to grab and where to pull. Oh, how cute that the film strip ended right next to the cameras. Did not plan that one bit. And here after I've shown you how to find, there's the edge that was hiding from me. Thing that I like about this too is it's very quick there's no measuring involved because I don't like measuring at all. And I'm using up all that washi tape that I bought that I somehow seem to keep buying and finding more wonderful patterns with it. I think my butterflies might be upside down there. Oh well, that happens. Do I have to fill in the entire page? No. I don't have to. I can stop at any point. So I'm going to stop there, make sure all my tapes are down. I'm going to lift it off the table. When I trim this though, I am going to trim some of the paper off with it. I purposely want to get some of the paper. And then I'm going to take one of those five by eight index cards and I'm just gonna put this right down here on the edge and I'm gonna attach the tape this way. That little piece that ran away, that's okay. I can just stick it back on there. So I'm just gonna push these down flat. Sometimes they tangle up on each other a little bit, but since it's washi tape, it's repositionable. This stuff is not really meant to last forever or stick permanently. So I'm gonna put it smooth and I want it to stay down permanently. So I'm gonna give it a little help. I'm gonna bring in a little gel medium and I'm using a catalyst blade tool here because it allows me to get a thin coat of gel medium on there more so than I could with a brush. So I'm just gonna put a thin coat of it on there and that keeps the washi tape down flat. The other benefit to this is it's really easy to clean up because that's basically all I have to do to clean this thing off. I have ruined so many brushes in gel medium over the years that to use this instead has made my life so much easier. Now, if you forget to wipe this off, don't worry. It just peels right off even after it's dry. So extremely forgiving. So now I've already got another page made for the junk journal right there, just using the scraps or the junk from doing the washi tape. 